Hey guys, so let me try this practice problem. Here we have this fancy looking container that you want to build so that you can store crap in it. And the idea is that this has outer walls and an open top. So another view of this would be a simpler view would be uh, something like this, right? And you can, let's say that this entire thing has a mass of M1 and you wanna be able to add some stuff here. Let's call that M2 and it says here that the bottom face of the container, so this whole thing here, has an area, obviously the bottom is a two-dimensional measure, right? It has an area uh, that measures three by eight, so three meters by eight meters, in other words, 24 square meters. Um, and I wanna know how high should the sides be, so what is the height here? so that the combined mass of the container is 100,000 kilograms, a lot of crap. In other words, so that's total M, let's call that just M1 plus M2. We're not gonna use the separate ones. We're gonna use just M is 100,000 kilograms. Um, and obviously the whole point is that it's floating in water and water doesn't get inside of it. In other words, water can be this high and water actually would go, the maximum amount of mass would be in such a way uh, the, the, the minimum height would be in such a way that the water goes all the way to the top, but it doesn't make it in, okay? So, again, it's a situation where the entire volume of this thing, the entire volume of this thing is underwater, okay? Now, what's really important here is that the volume is not, the volume is not just this yellow area. What matters, remember, is the volume of liquid displaced and there is no water here so it's actually the entire volume of this rectangle including the outside okay so the volume in question is a volume that is measured by this total area of the bottom times the height okay it's not like you're going to get the volume of these three columns here you just make a huge rectangle out of this include basically the entire thing even the inside even though that's just sort of open air with crap in it hopefully that makes sense that made sense that's the entire volume okay and we want the water level to be just there so that the volume under is exactly the same as the total volume of this thing which is the entire area times the entire height and what we're looking for is that h how do we solve this just like how we solved all these problems, hopefully by now it's getting old, we're gonna write F equals MA, sum of all forces equals MA, and this is going to be zero because of equilibrium, and the forces on the container are very simply the total mass times gravity uh, going down, and then the buoyant force going up. So I'm gonna write that FB equals big MG, and we're gonna expand FB to be the density of the liquid, gravity, volume under, equals the total mass gravity. The gravity is gonna cancel. Now check this out. Um, I know the density of the liquid, it's 1000. Density of the liquid is 1000. I know the volume, uh, I don't know the volume under, but I know it's AH. And I know that the area is 24, so it's 24H, and that's what we're looking for right there. And the mass is 100,000 um, kilograms. 100,000 kilograms. Okay, um, and so what I can do here is I can, I can cancel this thousand with this thousand over here. And what I have left is 24H equals 100. So H is 100 divided by 24, uh, which is 4.2 meters, okay? So that is the final answer. If the height here is 4.2 meters, if the height of this thing is 4.2 meters, it's going to have enough volume to displace enough water to cause there to be enough buoyant force to cancel all of the weight. Long story short, if the H is 4.2, this thing will float with 10,000 kilograms of total mass without water getting inside of it. That's it for this one, let's keep going.